Hey, you can see my crazy jumper. Today is the day I am on Kirsty's Handmade Christmas. Ah! Um, and it has snowed, so it's a snow day. <laughs> Everybody, it is the um, 10th, yeah, the 10th of December, Saturday, the 10th of December. We've just been out walking the dogs. It's currently like zero degrees, but it is nice and warm in the sun. So just about walking the dogs. We're going to pop to um, our local farm shop now because I need to get a few more Christmas bits and they have a really nice gift shop. All oh, my glasses are steaming up. Um, so hopefully they'll have some stuff. And we might, if the dogs are behaving enough, we may sit in and have some food or we may buy some food and take it home with us. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd take you along with me. guys I'm doing a really bad job of vlogging today I haven't even got my vlogging camera I'm actually using my phone because um <laughs> we're just yeah not really with it today anyway you will have seen that we went to our local farm shop and um, bought a few bits had a lovely lunch out which was really yummy and then we popped to um, a couple of shops locally just to look for some Christmas presents and ended up finding a really cute chair and we've been looking for a chair for this lounge for ages um it's currently on the floor because we're pulling the trim off the bottom of it but it's like a second hand chair we got it for 80 quid which is a pretty good deal so um let me just show you so it's got this trim on it so we're just taking this trim off that's what we're doing at the moment um, and then we'll show you what it looks like it's going to go there which is where our christmas tree lives at the moment so it's going to have to live somewhere else for now but it's quite cute you can see so the kind of theme for decoration in this lounge diner for that i'm trying to go for is like sort of um garden like country cottage garden theme i really like the idea of going for like roses and cabbages like greens and pinks so yeah we're going to uh now keep removing the brocade <laughs> russell's it's all stapled in so russell's just pulling it out because it's got quite nice feet on it so yeah that's what we're <laughs> up to i'll show you it when we've pulled all the brocade off right fringe is off and it looks like a completely different Russell chair. Fringe, <laughs> yeah, Russell will pose with the fringe so you can see what it looked like before. It was like full on granny spec. Um, I mean, it was kind of cute. I did quite like it because it was quite sort of like 1930s. But if you take it off, it just like modernizes a bit. So that's what we've done. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love that. Um, I think, do you think it needs a cushion? I can't decide. We might get a cushion. Tell me, guys, what you think in the comments. Does it need a cushion? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's cute. It's tiny. It's probably just mostly going to be sat on by Rodney. But um, it's going to look really cute. Once the Christmas tree is gone in January, it's going to come back down and sit in that corner. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that.
everybody and um welcome to a new day today is the 11th of december um and it has snowed so it's a snow day <laughs> um i probably would have put some footage in from our lovely dog walk in the snow that we've been on this morning um so we went on one um early early this morning and then um we went to church and now then came home and took them out again to make them just enjoy the snow because it had fallen really heavy whilst we were at church. So yeah, lovely. Um, so now we're home, dogs are knackered. <laughs> we're all a bit chilly and I'm just gonna make some soup. I'm gonna make some chorizo and red lentil soup for us to have, oh, falling over a ball. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I'm hoping to do a spot of knitting. I'm still feeling pretty yucky. Um, a lot of people have said that the winter colds have been going on for weeks and weeks and weeks, so that's probably what's going to happen. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling quite like headachey and not great, but um, I'll make some soup and then we'll spend the afternoon on the sofa watching Christmas films and knitting. I think it'll be really nice. Hello, hello, hello. So, oh, still not feeling fabulous, I have to say this cold has like really knocked out of me pretty bad headache really not feeling good so i just want to sit quietly and do some knitting um i was supposed to start my socks yesterday but um i was making the um oh what's it called west yorkshire spinners pattern one of the free patterns that they create to go with their sock yarns and um you needed um I didn't realise the yarn was doubled up, which makes sense as to why it's on 3.5 millimetres instead of like 2.5 millimetres for socks. They needed to be doubled up, so I'd need another ball of yarn. I just couldn't be bothered. So I've found another pattern now, a free pattern for like beginners, really simple stocking net stitch socks. And that's what I'm going to do on a 2.5 millimetre. So I've got this tiny little 25 centimetre cable or is it millimeter no it must be 25 centimeters um so hopefully that'll work so yeah i'm gonna get on with that and see how that goes Hello everybody, I am rather cosy and sleepy, but um, I got quite a lot of my sock done, so I've done all the ribbing, and I'm now just onto the stocking stitch, um, so yeah, I'm quite pleased with that, it's looking super cute. Russell's just going to go and make some dinner, he's going to make us a nice roast dinner, roast ham, um, and I'm going to watch some Vlogmas, I'm watching... Um, Taylor S Studio Vlogmas, which I'm really enjoying this year. I think she does it every year. Um, I might have to go back and watch <laughs> previous years because it's really cute. She um, is a hand dyer. She does hand dyed yarn, sells hand dyed yarn, and also a pattern designer as well. I think all her patterns are like designed with her own yarn, which would make sense. Um, so yeah, just having a nice little evening. Gonna keep working on my sock. I wanna try and get my socks done quite quickly. Um, because I always do this. I think I might try and make some Christmas presents. It's two weeks till Christmas. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. So we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling this week. Right now I'm feeling really tired. Rodney woke us up every two hours last night. 
he goes back to sleep after five or ten minutes but just the act of being woken up every two hours and then having to get back to sleep <laughs> that's not great so i think we'll probably have dinner maybe watch another christmas film we've just watched a cozy christmas film on amazon prime we might watch another cozy christmas film maybe like the holiday or something and then have a bath and go to bed hello good morning it is not the morning <laughs> it's the afternoon um it is monday the 12th of december um i have been working this morning um i work from home i think i've said that loads of times now <laughs> so i've been working this morning um i've just made some um soup some i mean it's i said it, it's pea and ham soup but it's not really because it's got like loads of things in it so i've made some nice soup with a leftover roast ham um i don't think i really finished last night's vlog because i was just really tired um this cold is just like going on forever um it's driving me bananas to be honest i'm feeling really rough still today um but yeah just trying to look after myself making myself some lovely vegetable and ham soup that should help keep me warm um so yeah i got quite far sorry if you can hear the washing machine by the way it's really loud um because it's like you know when it gets to like towards the end and it just like whizzes it's the spin isn't it at the end it's like wow <laughs> sorry not quite in focus there we go yeah i thought i'd show you how i'm doing with my socks because i was knitting my socks all of last night um i'm really enjoying it and i'm i, I the, i've only ever made one sock before in my life um and i really didn't enjoy it because i started off on um dpn's uh, and I just found it really fiddly and then I moved to Magic Loop which was easier but it left a massive ladder so I purchased these sock needles which are 25 centimetre long cable um, and these are two and a half millimetres and I'm just so pleased with like how neat this is knitting up and how easy this is the pattern I'm using is supposed to be for DPN so when it comes to like the heel flap I might have to put some stitch markers in or something to like denote each um dpn or whatever but yeah i'm really pleased with how it's coming look how cute it is <laughs> i just love this yarn every year west yorkshire spinners brings out beautiful christmas um sock yarn um they've had like the tinsel way and stuff that was lovely i think that was last year or the year before it's like sparkly and i really love them but this year's i feel was just like next level <laughs> i think maybe because i'm such a big gingerbread fan um and i love that kind of like rusty orange tone it's one of my favorite tones um and normally i'd only like Ha like wear it in the autumn time and make things for autumn so being able to like have it in christmas so like colors as well but like it just shows up that beautiful like peppermint green it just reminds me of like obviously it's supposed to be like gingerbread's like you know um candy canes and peppermint and sprinkles and all that lovely stuff so i think i'm going to do some work on this um this afternoon um i'm also hoping to do a bit of sewing my husband's working from home um today as well so he's in the office upstairs now which is where i normally do my sewing so we will see um if i can get a chance but basically all i've got left to do on my day my my day for christmas dress no that's the wrong way around my dress for christmas day which is a tilly in the buttons indigo and it's just like a really bog standard tilly in the buttons indigo all i've got left to do is um put the sleeves together and then um sew the sleeves on and hem and that's it i'm done so i'd really like to do that today and then my christmas day dress is done and then the other thing i'd like to do today if at all possible is I would like to cut out um, my Christmas pajamas, which I want to wear on Christmas Day as well in the morning when we're opening our stockings. Oh, that's the beeper. Um, should we go and see how my soup is doing? Got my soup. Got some advent calendar chocolate. I forgot to eat yesterday's, so that's today's and yesterday's. And I'm just gonna catch up on, I'm not sure that's gonna focus. Emily, Kate made this as Vlogmas. <laughs> not sure how correct that grammar was um, i'll link her below because her vlogmas is super cute it's very crafty which i love
very bright here Ooh, hello white face oh really white face okay where can we stand where i don't look like casper the ghost here we go um yeah end of the day just gonna make some tea gonna make a cottage pie and then if i have time i'm gonna try and get my sewing done that i wanted to get done today because i'm on a schedule <laughs> until christmas to get all the sewing done so we shall give it a go so yeah i shall take you with me making my little cottage pie in my house are really not very flattering are they little shiny egghead um anyway um dinner is simmering away so i am gonna get on with some sewing i've literally just got the sleeves and the hem to do so let's see if i can get it done <laughs> in this little bit of time that i've got we shall see <laughs> Okay, I did it. <laughs> Super speedy sewing. I got the sleeves done and in. Oh, oh, yes. Got the sleeves done and in. I've just realised I've been a right numpty. I've not finished my facing. <laughs> but that shouldn't be too hard to do. I just need to go over on a zigzag stitch. So yeah, the sleeves are on. It's looking super cute. So I just need to hem the skirt, hem the sleeves finish the neck facing so it'll probably take me like 20 minutes tomorrow get all of that done so yeah christmas day dress almost finished hurrah just realized i didn't um show you our dinner and now we've eaten it <laughs> but it was very yummy cottage pie <laughs> uh, there was one portion left um for me to have later in the week because russell's going out for dinner with his friends so yes delicious dinner I think that's it for today. Um, I am shattered. I'm just gonna go knit for a little bit, do some more of my socks, have a bath, read my book, go to bed, sleep. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!
Tuesday, I just had to check on my phone, <laughs> the 13th of December, you keep thinking it's Wednesday, I feel like I'm getting so much done and I'm so busy every day that um, I feel like more of the week has happened. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> I am ready for my Christmas holiday. <laughs> Not long to go. Um, but yeah, um, I will have popped in some footage I think you will have seen. We got up and went for a walk this morning in the snow, still snowy here. A lot of it's like on the road, especially compacted into ice, so having to be a little bit, a little bit careful. Um, Rodney did slip all over the road, <laughs> bless him. Um, but yeah, had a nice little walk this morning. Um, I'm now just finishing my breakfast, gonna start some work. Um, but I just got some exciting posts, so I thought I would show you what I got. Please excuse the remnants of my breakfast. <laughs> A nice bowl of porridge and some orange juice. Um, so I got this beautiful print from Sean Ward, who I absolutely love. I will um, tag <clears throat> her Instagram and um, her website below. She's an illustrator. She does some really beautiful illustrations. Um, last year I bought her Christmas cards. This year I bought her Christmas cards again. <laughs> I got a beautiful autumn print that was on the mantelpiece and I thought, right, I'm gonna swap that out for a Christmas one. And then I'm hoping to get her, she has like a spring clean one I think I'm gonna get in like February <laughs> and just keep swapping them out and always have one on the go because I just love them. Um, it's just so cute, isn't it? I like this because it looks like it's been hand knitted <laughs> um, and nice little sock as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pop that on my mantelpiece. Hello, it is the afternoon now. I have had a very busy day um, at work. <laughs> Um, and yeah, ended up having a really late lunch because I was like running around like a loony. And then when I came downstairs, I found Rodney eating a Christmas decoration. Um, I then let him out to go to the loo and um, he went and dug up the raised beds. So there's nothing in them at the moment, but he dug a massive hole in the raised bed. <laughs> so <laughs> he's gone back to sleep now. So hopefully he stays asleep whilst I do some sewing because <laughs> I'm really hoping that I can knock up a pair of pajama bottoms in an hour um they're super quick and easy they've got pockets and that's it obviously like a waistband and stuff so yeah let's see how that goes i'm using the uh new craft house everyday trouser pattern that i have um because it's just a nice easily like elasticated trouser pattern that's going to work really well for pajamas so i am going to have a go at knocking those up super quickly <laughs> so yeah we'll see how that goes come all ye faithful joyful and triumphant come ye come ye to bethlehem come and behold him born the king of angels come Right, I'm feeling pretty tired now. I've been sewing for about an hour and a half. So I think I'm just going to um, finish there, to be honest. Um, I finished my Christmas dress today. Um, and it's looking really nice. I hemmed it all. Um, and um, I've done basically a huge amount of the pyjamas. It's just the waistband to attach and hem the trousers. Which shouldn't take too long tomorrow. Russell's out all evening tomorrow. So I'll probably have like a little sewing evening and finish his off and then make mine up, my matching pajama bottoms to his. But yeah, I'm feeling really tired now. So I think I'm just gonna go and chill and do a bit of knitting on my socks. Um catch up on some Vlogmas. I might have a mince pie. Something nice like that. Can't remember if I've shown you. <laughs> my christmas dress or not today but basically i just did the hemming so it is done super cute my husband thinks it looks like it's covered in cranberries so that works quite well for christmas it's got pockets it's got the classic indigo like fluted sleevey thing um so yeah very happy with that good day of sewing so far i think <laughs> i've got a lot to get done before christmas but i think we might just make it Maybe. 
let us adore him. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us adore him. Christ the Choirs of angels sing in exultation. Sing, all ye citizens of heaven above. Glory to God in the highest. Come, let us adore Him. Come, let adore him come let us adore him Christ Hello everybody, it is Thursday the 15th of December um, and uh, today is a very exciting day because um, today, you can see my crazy jumper, today is the day I am on Kirsty's Handmade Christmas! Ah! Um, so <laughs> this is a little bit crazy, I'm going to be on TV soon, um, I'm a little bit terrified but Hey ho, I'm wearing my Christmas jumper, which I can show you because by the time this goes up, the episode will have been out for quite a few days. So hopefully you will have seen it. If not, it'll be on channel four catch up. I'm in the Christmas jumper competition, episode four. So yeah, go check it out. Um, so I've got a Zoom with my family. So we're all gonna watch at the same time um, when it's live on TV at 5 p.m. and Zoom. Um, so that's gonna be fun. So yeah. Um, I shall take you along with me. We've got some little snacks. Let's see, I'm wearing my jumper. It looks so sparkly in the camera, like the camera's picking up all the sparkles. Yay, Christmas! Look! Ah! Look! <gasps> Cassidy's handmade Christmas. Prize nets with you, but we also have the two and a half hour trial, which starts now. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of a glare on my glasses, I'm afraid. Sorry about that, it's quite a sunny day. So I'll move this way, is that any better? Not really. Um, anyway, hello. Um, sorry that last night kind of ended abruptly. Um, it was all just very exciting and um, I was on Zoom to my family and just having a lovely time watching the episode and then I obviously just got messages and messages and messages all night long. Uh, my husband went out and got us a Chinese. <laughs> we just had a nice, really lovely evening just enjoying it. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a whole video on my experience of being on Kirsty and um, how I came up with my idea and the design process of my jumper and all that stuff in the new year. So keep an eye out for that if you'd be interested. Um, but yeah, it is Friday the 16th of December. We are now one more week of work and that's it. Me and my husband finish work at lunchtime on the 23rd of December, so exactly a week today. <laughs> um, I have finished work for today, um, it's now the afternoon. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous bright blue sky, sunshine day, all the frost is glittering. It is unfortunately still like I don't know whatever it is like minus two or something it was like minus seven this morning it was so cold um but we are going to head out we're going to go to Burford Garden Centre I've got a few more Christmas presents to buy um including stuff for my husband's stocking and he's coming with me so I'm just gonna have to like send him away <laughs> um but yeah gonna pop to Burford Garden Centre I think we're going to get some lunch whilst we're there because they do amazing food and there's nothing in the fridge because 
uh, it's the end of the week and the food shop comes tomorrow so we can get some lunch have a little shop hopefully it's not completely insane it probably will be busy and i'm accepting that but hopefully not completely crazy um so yeah i'll get some shots for you because burford always looks magical this time of year burford gardens and it's always sparkly and lights and all that kind of stuff so yeah catch up with you later Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you from your little wrapped up <laughs> mountain troll <laughs> what do I look like oh, it's very cold <laughs> um, yeah I think it got down to minus 10 last night um, it is like quarter to four so the sun's setting soon so it's like disappeared because we're in a dip so it's disappeared so all the heat of the day has gone out it's cold and I'm just walking the dogs um, before it gets dark. We just got back from Burford Garden Centre. I think I got a few clips. We had some lunch out. Got a few clips of the Christmas shop, but it's very busy and I don't really like to film like other people's faces. Feels a bit rude. Um, the most exciting thing was though, that the, in the cafe, um, I bumped into Dee Hardwick, um, the knitwear designer. So if you don't know Dee Hardwick, she um, designs the most beautiful um, color work. Um, designs often inspired by um, the Brecon Beacons where she lives um, and she was lovely I just went up to her she was like buying some cake and I was like hello are you Dee Hardwick <laughs> like really awkwardly uh, I just recognized her from her Instagram so um, yeah we had a lovely time at Burford and now just snowy walk I think to be honest this is going to be the last day of snow and frost um, for probably for this year maybe get some in january but it's going up to seven tomorrow and then um something ridiculous i think like 13 degrees or something on monday and it's pouring with rain so that'll obviously dissolve all the snow in the ice um it's typical we've had no heating for three months and um the heating is going to be fixed on monday when the temperature goes back up by about 10 to 15 degrees more than it has been <laughs> but there we go um yeah
is the end of the day. We just got home. I am cold. I am tired. We've done a lot of shopping today. My leg's very sore. My um, knee joint pain is not coping very well in the cold. As per usual, it never does when it goes down to these kind of temperatures. So I am feeling sore and tired and ready for some chill time. I've lit all the candles in the lounge. It smells lovely. That orange and cinnamon and figgy pudding or like Saint, um, is it Eval or Evel? Um, candles. <laughs> Hi Rodney. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just going to chill. I think we're going to watch a Christmas film and I'm going to carry on with my socks. I'll show you um, where I'm up to. I might actually finish them this evening. Um, let me flip. So, I've got the duvet out again. Um, this is where I'm up to. So I've obviously done the whole leg and... Um, now just on the foot so i just got to keep going until i get to the decrease section so i really haven't got a lot left to go um so yeah i might finish these tonight and then i can get started on the next one so that they're ready for christmas so yeah that's the plan i'm just gonna chill lovely oh it's not focusing <laughs> we're gonna light a fire at some point but it looks kind of pretty actually not focused <laughs> um but yeah all the candles going light a fire have some dinner and relax. So I will see you in the next vlog. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.